that there's a message. It's very important for you, sir, and I submit myself to you, that the things you hear here, you take hold of it. Because, sir, they are not ordinary words. I'm not talking about myself. They are not ordinary words. If some of you had done it, you won't be struggling financially. I told you. It's not possible for an ecclesian to have COVID-19. Mm, don't say amen. I don't need it. He said so. I'm not a sleeping servant of God. So I comply myself. I suffer for it to happen. It will just happen. I mean, two, three testimonies of people who did not need to call. Okay, one called and the mother had COVID-19. Water. One, one touched me. The, the, guy said, the father said, call lead brother. The, the, I don't want to call his name. Uh, he's in church right now. He said, no, 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 no. I, I've, I've understood lead brother so much. Tell him to get a cup of water. His own uncle. So in the name of Jesus, he drank the water. He was tested positive for COVID-19. After the prayer, he went back negative. So we don't need it. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's a, we're not a religious church. Oh, 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 oh power of God. COVID-19 is beyond it, sir. We're talking of an invasion. We're talking of an influence. We're talking of a rulership. That's what kingdom is all about. Don't see yourself as ordinary. You cannot afford to be ordinary. You're too great to be small. Friends, let's flow tonight by the Spirit of God. Let me establish some foundation. Thank you, Lord. Our greatest challenge in our lifetime is the times we are living in. That's number one. Our greatest challenge in our lifetime is the times we are living in. Suddenly, reality had dawned on every one of us that something is happening. We may not be able to lay hold on. <laughs> but the reality is this, is in the template of Jehovah. Something is happening. This time around, it's not Nigeria. It's a global issue. Number two. The only thing we can expect to remain constant is change. What can we expect to remain constant? Change. That is the only thing that we can expect to remain constant. Change. Nothing is permanent, true, but change is permanent right now. Because changes will be happening. Hmm. Hmm. Number three, everything will change. How many things, sir? Everything will change. Sir, ma, I submit to you as a messenger of God. Change is inevitable. You can't stop it. It's a verdict I came to declare to you, sir. Everything will change. And he said to me, change, number four, change is the principle of life. Change is the principle of life. Because everything in life changes. It's the principle of life. Everything around us will change. <laughs> Have you noticed? According to Goodman, he says 74 days. 74 days ago when you left here to now, what has happened? Change has occurred. Not just you, sir. Around you. It's the principle of life. It's the principle of creation. Are you with me? Some of us are looking robust. Some of us, the air is more. There's nothing you can do. It's the principle of life. And sir, as a believer, if you don't start, you see, I need you yet again to drop religion. It's going to, you see, one of the flows of kingdom government is the clashes of the kingdom. Is that okay? I can't remember the, the, the particular one, but it's the clashes of the kingdom. And I will bring you to the fore. What becomes clear? There are shifts happening everywhere. Even in the kingdom of God, that is the body of Christ, shifts are happening. 
if you do Christianity as usual, you'll be swept under the fire. You'll be thrown under the trailer. The warfare is no longer spiritual. The warfare is the mind. Write it down, sir. It will help you. I clap for every great people. I bind, I lose. Wonderful. But never forget what I've said today. The warfare is no longer spiritual. The warfare is the mind. Because the mind is the battleground for this, for this warfare. That we find ourselves into. And that's why you can see a believer spiritually high but mentally low. Number five, therefore, change is constant. Embrace it, brother. Embrace it, sister. Change is constant. Now, I, I go to what I call re reality of change. Number seven of them. Number one, the reality of change. The reality of change. You see, what I'm doing is to, as you're writing, please get back and review. What I'm doing is to build something. Believe me, sir. Something is happening to you. Because these words are not ordinary words. It's preparing you for something strong. Nothing takes God by surprise. It's only in the world that people are surprised. God is not surprised. For every move of God, he raises remnants. I did say Ecclesia Embassy. He raises remnants. Probably out of Ecclesia, there's only three now. He raises remnants everywhere to begin to steer them up. To begin to look in another direction. Reality of change, number one, your body will change. Hey, hey, what will happen, sir? Your body will what, sir? Your body will change. It has changed now. Number two, your knowledge will change. There's nothing that you can do about that. It will change. Number three, your environment will change. It's changing, sir. Not just physical or climatical, even the, the spiritual environment is changing. The social environment is changing. The political environment is changing. You have to embrace change. There's nothing you can do. Don't forget about looking at embracing kingdom demands for change. You see what God does, sir? God for one, for tell. For instruct a people before anything happens. Nothing just happens. Number four, your relationships will change. Your relationships, your friends will change. Your marriage will change. Your children will change. Number five, your values and principles will change. Your values, your principles will change. It is already changing. Suddenly you that said no to something started saying yes. Suddenly you that never compromised started compromising. Pressure everywhere. Things are changing. The things you vowed that you will never indulge in, you started indulging in. And then the system of the world is bringing us into some level of, levels of normality. New world, modern. What was not accepted in some times ago, now is acceptable now. It's not that God changed. This is happening. Changes are happening. But people are not paying attention to it. <laughs> you know, I was praying on Monday, and this one was very fearful. While thanking God for Sunday service, and then he said, Son, tell the church, not Ecclesia, Embassy, tell the body of Christ to pray. And I said, Why? He said, So that what you are seeing may not become a law. And he tried to fast forward the future. He said, Woof. What does that mean? So that they won't come with a law that every Christian gathering becomes one hour. I speak ahead, Rose. If you want to hear, hear. And I said, Lord, why? He said, Hey, son, 
They are going to hinder me. I told you one hour 30 minutes for kingdom government. Now next Sunday will be one hour. Can't you see they are injuring me? And most of the messages of kingdom government you didn't finish for them. So you can imagine now when it's not one hour what will happen. He said they are going to hinder my move. It's not about falling under power. Because I'm birthing a seed in people which is growing. And it needs nurturing. And nurturing is not once, it's a process. And nurturing according to modern agriculture, nurturing is timed. What I needed one hour or two hours, 30 minutes for, or two hours service for, when the announcer making it one hour, is going to prolong issues. But we thought it is normal. Listen to what you don't understand. For those of you that have been hearing for the past two, three months, understand. Why you must understand the reality is this. In the times of old, it is the church that powers the government. Why? Because the church and the state cannot be separated. I told you on Sunday, the word Ecclesia was a borrowed word that Jesus gave. In that Matthew chapter 16 verse 18, he borrowed it because understand, the Grecians were the first person that talked about Ecclesia. Ecclesia, the Grecians were the rulers of the world in those times. The Grecians were the first people that talked about Ecclesia. They always gather special people who they prepare. They call them the called out, the separated, the appointed ones, the chosen ones. It is out of them they pick ambassadors. They pick the great people, they pick the politicians, they pick the directors, they pick the ministers. If you are not part of the ecclesia, you cannot be picked. As I told you, sir, we're not a church member. It's only in sects that talk about membership. I don't care what anybody else says. He sent me. Blessed are your ears that hears if you choose to hear. Because it's not every ear that is open that is hearing. Number six, your career will change. Your career, your job, your profession, your business will change. He's already changing. Can't you see? When Brian told me about some of the teachers who, who are members, who are, who are ecclesians, and then have they been paid, they've not been paid. I shed tears. It will change. Things are changing. Things will change. But you are not, you are, see, you are not observant. You are changing with them. Suddenly you are dropping your tight. Suddenly you are thinking offering is an option. I'm not, I'm not a money launderer. Number seven, your life will change. Everything around you will change. Everything about you will change. Including yourself itself. You will change, sir. It's not, there's nothing you can do. Hear the good news. Only him will never change. Only him. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. He says, I am the Lord. I change not. That's why you are not consumed. That's why you are not consumed. Give me TLB. That's why nothing will happen. No matter the change, everything is positively changing your favor. Let that amen be the strongest. For I am the Lord, I do not change. That is why you are not already utterly destroyed. For my mercy endures forever. Lift up your right hand and bless God for his mercy. It's his mercy. It's his mercy that has endured forever. Oh, shatalagagabash. In Jesus' precious name. Uh, you know, therefore, let me continue. Therefore, you need to determine the changes that must happen in your life. You need to determine the changes that must happen in your life. Because there are changes that will be forced on you. Two, there are changes that you'll be watching and it will happen. Three, there are changes that will happen and you ask what happened. Four, there are changes that you will make happen. One, there are changes that will be forced on you. There are changes that you'll just be watching and then it happens. Three, there are changes that suddenly you ask what happened. Four, there are changes that you make happen. You make happen. You'll have to decide the changes you want. Because we must know, understand, and determine the changes 
that will happen to us by time. And that is what God wants. That is what God demands. That is why God, hear me sir, that is why God gave the church to the world. God gave the church to the world. God's agenda is that the church will become his place whereby instructions are meted to the government, not the other way around. Suddenly, people are sitting somewhere and then deciding the faith, F-A-T-E, of the church. Something has gone wrong, bro. Why? The church has become religious, not kingdom. Because if the church had known, if our fathers in this present time can be aware that it's about a government not religious approaches I charge you friends the transformation that we're talking about that began and is from our mind remember on Sunday the transformation is from your mind it begins with your mind. It's within your mind. Your mind. Your spirit has been regenerated. Your spirit is on fire. But your mind is not transformed. Your mind has become moribund. And clothed with what is not necessary. And they are all distractions. They are baits of the devil. Not making you to see the reality of a system that God has ordained to be operative. Let's look at that romance. Let, 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 me, let me end with the power of conformity. Can, can, we, do, you, do, you, do you allow me? Because I've, I've spent over 24 minutes. The service, has, I've gone 24 minutes, um, 20, 26 minutes. So I have just about 10 minutes more. Is that okay? Let, let me show you the power of conformity. We, we, do you want to hear it? Let me show you. What, because sir, there's a pressure right now. There's a pressure. There's a pressure. There's a pressure. There's a pressure everywhere pressure everywhere even those blessed people who are believers real believers who are in the senate house of rep they have been submerged and subdued i speak as a servant of the most High. that's why you need to rise up you can't prefer change away from change you must be in chain to bring change That's why I said, this selfishness, only family you are thinking about, you are not part of it, sir. Believe me, sir. He told me. You, are not, you can't be part of it. If the only thing you are thinking about is your family. God has brought you to change a world. And all you want to think about is only your family. Your wife and your children. Or your husband and your mother-in-law. Romans chapter 12. Verse 2. I'm going to do easy, easy to read. Easy to read, please. Smartly. Smartly. I'm going to focus on the A part of these scriptures. I go to easy to read, then I go to a new century, and then I go to NLT, then I arrive at King James. Please fo focus your eyes on the screen. Is that okay? So don't forget, please, um, ICT people, I'm going to easy to read, then I go to um, new century, then I, I arrive at um, 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 uh, NLT, then I climax at... Um, New King James. Oh, is that okay, friends? Now, let's flow with this. Holy Spirit, thank you. Blessed assurance. Thank you. Now, look at this. Don't change yourselves to be like the people of, the, of this world, but let God change you how? Inside. How is he going to do it? With a new way of thinking. Now, Paul was speaking to believers. 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 Get it now. How will God change you? New way of thinking. Hey, on Sunday I'm going to show you the tradition no more tradition of men and if you hear the scripture he gave me don't go there, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 10 he said there's a, there will be times of reformation there will be times of what sir? reformation times of reformation he said suddenly he said the, 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 the issue of tradition and rituals and, and, and routines and ordinances will be over and then suddenly there will be a time of reformation how does it happen? It will start by reformation of the mind, then transformation of the system. Return the scripture. Let's flow, please. Thank you. 
So we've gotten that. Now, hear this. New century. Don't, do not be shaped by this world. Instead, be changed in, within by a water. A new way of thinking. NLT. Flow. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person. By how? Changing the way you think. Ah, uh, now King James, which you know. And be not conformed to this world, but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind. He said, when you get to that level, see, you begin to do the will of God. That's another full message. You get to a point where you are not praying the will of God to be done. You begin to leave it out. Because he said that you may prove the good, acceptable, and perfect will. Sir, you, you leave it out. So every good, bad, ugly that happens to you has been ordained by God because you leave it out. You know at that point, sir, the devil is not a factor. So no principality and power. No powers of the darkness of the air can resist who you are because you are under the you are cocooned under the will of Jehovah at the changing of your mind oh blessed assurance you know what I can tell you is this hear me sir don't just hear the word you are hearing from now don't just hear it as a new thing don't just take it as a, 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 me trying to communicate to you what is now what will be God said I should tell you you must learn to begin to conceptualize everything you hear what does he mean mind picture it Gabriel picture it everything you hear conceptualize it picture it ah, how are we going to take over that should be your mindset how are we going to rule that should be your mindset how are we going to take over the agriculture take over politics take over commerce take over oil and gas how is it going to happen that should be your mindset people that are here in Ecclesia out of the world they are already walking they are sitting down here very soon they'll be coming to come and share their testimony from other countries to come and hey, we're not talking about you got healed that's children church let me let me let me climb up this way oh blessed i've not done one eighth of the message but that's the end for today and that's the end again i won't talk about this message again forever now let me climax on this blessed assurance all right what does this mean be not conformed that's what we want to look at be not what sir conformed the word conformity means to obey or agree with something. To obey or agree with something. And God is saying we should not obey or agree with the system of the world. The word conformity means to do what others do. Or to behave in the way that is acceptable to the world system. That's what Webster said. Or to behave in a way that is acceptable to the world system. Be not conformed. Ladies and gentlemen, the entire universe is battling with this conformity. Is that you are conformed or you are deformed? That's the world system. But listen to me, sir. Conformity is dangerous. Sometimes, conformity is dangerous. It is dangerous. <laughs> There's so much pressure of conformity. Even the church is conforming. The church has been brought to a point of surrender. But the church is not smart. The church is still focusing on gathering. Whereby in this generation, you can't be doing gathering. If you're going to be relevant, the world has gone technology. Well, that's another message for another day. What does it demand? And I'm true. Number one, and I, and I need to be to be very very to approach these five points with a pain in your heart. Number one. It demands you surrender your conviction and your values. Well, you remember that scripture? It said, don't copy the world system. Don't subject yourself to the culture of the world. Because what it demands, it demands that you surrender your convictions and your values. Number two. 
It begins to demand that you let go of your principles and your existence. You let go of your principles and your existence. You can't afford to be a man or a woman without principles in this time. If not, the world will swallow you. The world system will swallow you. You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. You know what God said to me the first day? He said, take note of what Jesus said. I am the light of the world, not the light of the earth. And I said, what, what do you mean by that? He said, son, understand the earth already has light. What Jesus said, he said, I am the light of the world. And he said, you also, I mean, I've shown you enough scripture. I'm not ready for that again. You also, he said, you also, you are the light of the world. The word world again is what? Cosmos. It means the system of control. The system of influence. The controlling authority. So when Jesus said again, go ye into the world. He didn't talk about soul winning. He's talking about an invasion. He's talking. God is talking about an imposing of a culture of the kingdom. Sir, it's nothing new, sir. Get the Greek word. Great. After a while, sir, I'll be, I'll be teaching in Greek. Get the Greek word because it was Greek that was written. It was not, so it has got nothing to do with me. Cosmos, it is earth. It is a go to the people. It's a go to the world system. So it's beyond soul winning. It is influence. That's why we're winning more souls. Have you not noticed? I told you. I told you two years ago, but you're not getting it. We're winning more souls, but the earth is getting more decayed. That means you think God is a liar? No! You have lost your mind. You're not thinking the way he wants you to think. Kingdom. Number three. Conformity. You know what it does? It brings you to the point whereby you don't want to exist anymore. Because you begin to lose yourself. You are no longer yourself. Have you not heard people say you are not yourself again? No? Because you are conforming. Have you heard people say, this is not you. You are conforming. You begin to lose yourself. Number four. It births confusion. Conform. Remember the word con. Con, con means, remember when we're teaching concepts. Con means coming together. So it births, so when different, different things are just attacking you, so you begin to become confused. I get what I'm trying to say. It births confusion. So coming together of all kinds of forms, all kinds of norms, all kinds of instructions, all kinds of pressure, suddenly you become amoebic in your approach. You that used to say yes and forthright yes. You can't say yes again because you are conforming gradually. Number five. It destroys your uniqueness. It destroys your uniqueness. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. No matter what the world does, can I shock you, sir? Let me tell you the truth. No matter what the world does, the world will not will not impose their conformity on Jehovah's plan. That is one thing I can assure you. Including you. You cannot impose your plan on God. Every one of us will conform. It doesn't matter how strong the devil is posing. He's still not a factor. I've not changed my mind. He's still not a factor. Because understand sir, the Bible said if he had known, he wouldn't have crucified. The Lord of glory. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 8. He thought that in, in bringing Jesus through the cross and through the stripes and through the piercing and through the nailing, he had overcome, but he didn't understand that there's a master plan. So you must understand where kingdom applies is that you begin to bring your own plan. To, see, sir, you see, the problem is this everything is losing its reality. Everything. Look at sir. People are not thinking. Suddenly Sunday, Sunday, the banking system now brings work on Sunday. And people are okay. They're okay. Why? Because the believers who are supposed to go into the system, they are in church and shouting amen, falling under power. 
they sat down. So you see a Zenith member here, a GTB member here, cannot make service on Sundays. Suddenly, they are bringing you to conformity. Social media. I, I, I cried and I laughed at you. The mystery of distraction. But you didn't get it. Suddenly now, during this lockdown, you became engrossed with your phone. It became an addiction to you. Suddenly they begin to take you to websites that have been ordained by demon to trap your destiny. Conformity. And you can't see. You can't observe. That God has already brought you into a reality. Sir, everything about this world will go, sir. The reality is this. The kingdom will stand. Rise to your feet. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands, everybody, everywhere. And bless the name of the Lord. 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 Go ahead and bless his name. Bless his name right now. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Give him praise. Bless his name. Give him glory. Bless his name. Give him praise. Give him glory. Oh, see that Bahasa. She get up on the other Bosa. He am a hand that I will seek about. Speaking songs right now. Let's impose the language. Let's impose the language of the Spirit. Everybody everywhere. Impose the language of the spirit. Impose the language of the spirit. Rakaye. Speaking thumbs loud. Iratendo Bahasa. Yakarate Kostaba. Esunaranaba. Eshakayaba. Erekete. Marakatenos. Jeke regete. Ikamrodebos. Ikeregete, metenius, jeterie, makamregos, mekurigaba, irabada. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Moses said, Choose you this day. Make a choice. Deuteronomy 30 19. Joshua said, Now that we've got into a reality, choose you this day. Whom you will serve. Joshua 24 verse 5. It's for me and my house. We serve the Lord. Lift up your twins. Lord, I choose kingdom. Sir, it's a strong prayer. Pray that prayer with strength. Lord, I choose kingdom. I choose kingdom. I choose kingdom. Remember that is sovereign rule. Sovereign rule of God over your life. Sovereign will of God over your destiny. Sovereign counsel of God over your existence. I choose kingdom. I choose your will. I subscribe to your counsel. Maradis. Enderebosa. Ragaye. Baratetete. Maribos. Lekeros. Enderebosa. Ay, 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 ay. Makerebo. Elabala. Lift up your two hands, everybody.
check it out. Raise your voice. My God, raise. For the last time, my God, raise. Say. My Shout amen. Said, For I am doing something in your own day, something you won't believe, even if someone told you about it. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, joining my faith with these voices of the called out ones, that by the authority of heaven, that God will bring his will to pass over Nigeria concerning the body of Christ. Nothing shall be corrupted in Jesus' name. The second scripture, Romans chapter 9, verse 28, NLT. It says, For the Lord will carry out his sentence upon the earth quickly and with finality. Romans chapter 9, verse 28, NLT. The Lord will carry out his sentence quickly upon the earth and with finality. Lift up your right hand with me. Every believer in the house, my God, oh my Sikaya, I've declared your word over these people. I've declared your word into the airwaves. I've declared your word right now, as many as are hearing me. I decree that your kingdom be established now. The counsel of the wicked shall not prevail. The thought of your righteous shall not rule in the name of Jesus. Because these are people that you are raising up, that you are stirring up for such a time as this. I therefore decree that they will begin to conform to your perfect will. In Jesus' precious name, it is done. Give Jesus your big hand of praise, please. You may be seated. All right, let's honor God with our seed tonight. Whatever you came to bless God with. I'm going to encourage as many as now to begin to do transfers. Are you with me? It's going to be good for you. I mean, I learned from one of us. When he pays his tithe, he gives his whole offering for the month. I mean, that is a remarkable young man. He's in service right now. He gives his whole offering. In about five figures, he has calculated everything once. Why, boy? Because, no, I, I understand better. I don't want issue with God. Let it be that we didn't balance at home than to now begin to contend with God. Wise people, lift it up to you. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We bless you. These are seed. These are tithes. And these are offerings. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Shall we rise off it?
God be praised. To God be glory. Sunday, 8.30. What time? Tell your neighbor what time. Tell your other neighbor what time. 8.30 on Sunday for kingdom government. We're going to be looking at kingdom government mindedness. And then 10 a.m. Remember the instruction is 1-1-R. One, one is that okay? 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. We hit the word of God strong on what becomes of us in no more traditions of men. Lift up your two hands to him. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you the glory that is due you. We release ourselves in the name of the Father, the Son. There's a scripture that is tingling in my spirit. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Blessed assurance Jesus is mine. I hear NLT. In the name of Jesus. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16 is a scripture that the Lord is putting in my spirit for everyone. Look at this scripture. Blessed assurance Jesus is mine. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times. Someone say amen. And in every situation someone say amen the Lord be with you all. Someone shout, Amen! Amen. For let's declare what we believe in in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Everybody, everywhere! Flow! God bless you. God be with you. See you again on Sunday by 8.30 and then 10 a.m. Peace.